Hello there Aries, welcome to my channel, I'm the Soul Teacher and I'm here today to do your um, Pisces season reading. So with every new season we enter into, the energies obviously change according to um, the ruling planets of that, um, that phase and Pisces season runs from the 19th of February to the 20th of March. So I'm going to, from now on, actually wanted to try and do it from the Aquarius season, but things just didn't work out that way. So anyway, um, I'm going to do this with every season we are entering into, and it should be very interesting to see how this um, plays into all of the other readings that I do with the moon readings and, and the monthly energies and, and stuff like that. So anyway, um, Aries, let's see what is the overall energy for you for this Pisces season. And we have the Great Gathering. It's all coming together, intuitive hits and soul tribe. Okay, so um, Pisces is all about, um, Pisces is a dreamer of the zodiac. Um, so what happens with, with Pisces, what is a, an overall trait of Pisces is that because Pisces dreams so, so, so much and um, especially because Neptune is also now in Pisces. Neptune is also all about our dreams and our desires and, and, and all of these things. So and Neptune is in Pisces at this moment. So we tend to keep on planning and planning and planning, but we don't get to the doing. Pisces has got one of the, I don't want to say bad, but one of the more, more negative traits of Pisces is exactly that, is that you keep on planning and you make these beautiful plans and it's fun for you to plan and to attend meetings and do all of these things to plan, but you never get to the action part. And this is, especially because Pisces is also now in Neptune, we need to, instead of planning and keep on going, um, so your heart chakra just jumped out. Um, instead of just trying to keep on planning something, we need to do first. So we need to take the, the, the first steps, even though you don't have all in the information, even though you don't exactly know what you're going to do. Just take the first step. Just get into that, that, that doing phase, that, that um, masculine energy, the action, the action phase. Um, and if we do that... We should be able to um, handle this whole Pisces season a little bit better, especially seeing that Pisces is a Neptune. So guys, let's start um, and see. The first card that, that we're pulling out is the card that describes you best currently. But when I say currently, I mean within this Pisces season. Next one, how to improve your self-confidence. Then an energy to channel that improves your communication. Now that's also a thing about Pisces. Pisces, it's it's a bit difficult for Pisces to communicate properly because of this this dreamy element. So because of this dreamy element that Pisces has got, it's it's so easy for Pisces to instead of communicating something straightforwardly, it they would they would come with with a little bit around the bush and and trying to soften things a little bit. Um, next one is how you can set. Um, healthy boundaries, which is also a thing of Pisces. All well, obviously, all of the things that we're addressing here today is a little bit of the more challenging sides of Pisces, which is the reason why we're addressing this. Well, we, we must also play to Pisces strength as well, which is the dreamer. So yeah. Anyway, so um, next one is how you can incorporate that the more of that divine masculine energy, like I said. The doing part of things instead of just dreaming and planning and 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 whatever how can you start doing things for real and then the last one is how you can express yourself more creatively because the the, the big thing here is it's one thing to to be creative and to um it's it's one thing to have all of these beautiful creative ideas but do you express them um, and if you don't, if you don't express these creative ideas, are you really creative? Are you really in a, a, a creating state of mind? And remember, we are the creators of our own realities. So as we try and create life, we need to be in this creative state. But if we don't express it, are we in a creative state or are we in a dreamy state? Anyway, so Aries, let's get right into it and see what 
card describes your energy the best in during the spicy season wow and you have wisdom this is very cool <laughs> wow i just want to make sure quickly um what what major arcana this one represents in this deck and it's i thought so it's the hierophant so um what i feel here is um because it's because it's a, this is different deck so the cards obviously have a little bit of a different energy about them and because it's a spicy season um the hierophant is is all about um it can be a higher commitment in love um it can be like a brand new spiritual kind of connection coming in also what and, and this is what i'm getting for you and because this is also wisdom um see that book that he's carrying around and you see the sun but it's it's like the 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 light rays is not coming from the sun it's coming from the book see which is quite interesting so what i feel here for you guys is the hierophant is all about commitment also and I feel with Pisces season that you might be feeling committed to studying a little bit more or to um, get some more information on a specific topic um, regarding a new business or just your spiritual beliefs or whatever the case might be. And especially um, with, with the overall energy, the Great Gathering, it's all coming together, um, intuitive hits and soul tribe. Those intuitive hits might be the reason um, or the thing that prompts you to get some more information on things. But let's go more into the reading to see because that's a thing of Pisces. We get enthralled by this beautiful inspirational idea and we get all the information that we can, that we can and we start planning but we never get to the doing part. So um, the second one is how to improve my self-confidence. Accelerated motion, you see. If you are in the planning phase and you stay in the planning phase, nothing will happen because what, what needs to happen when you've planned out this whole beautiful, perfect plan, it needs to execute the execution to move forward. And if you don't execute, um, you will feel like a failure because you will feel that you've been planning and planning and planning and planning, but nothing actually comes together. But this is the time that it's coming together, remember? And the thing is, how to improve your self-confidence is start moving. Start moving along with your plan. Exactly what I said about this is, yes, gather the wisdom. But I feel that you come into this season. This is the very first card. You come into this season with this wisdom in your hands. And I feel that this is a time that you need to, like completely against Pisces um, traits is, go in with the action you you already have the wisdom you need to start moving things okay so number three is an energy to channel to improve your communication wow this is the magician guys goodness gracious awareness so um what i feel with this is this is an energy that you're going to channel to improve your communication so i feel you need to ask yourself what is it that you need to happen or want to happen here with all of your planning and all of the things that's coming? What is it that you want to happen? Um, and with that, I must be honest with you guys. Um, when I started this channel um, last year, it, it was a very slow go because I still have an accounting practice and that was my main income source is my accounting practice. And um, I didn't have a lot of time, so I basically did very um, traditional spreads, if I can say so. And since I decided to um, basically scale down on my accounting practice in order for me to give more attention to my spiritual practice and my spiritual work, um, I've come across these um, beautiful tarot readings. And I realized that as the collective turns certain lights on as we go there are certain things that we struggle with and um i started writing out all of these readings um and i tell you like yesterday even uh, my my kids um I, I was visiting my kids and we had this conversation and i realized there are certain things that they're struggling with and i sat down and i started writing and I wrote out this tarot spread. It's like intuitive writing, basically. And I tell you, when you ask the questions more specifically, 
your answers are more specific. So with what I feel about the awareness got there, Aries, is that ask the specific question um, to yourself and then you will get the specific answer in, oh, this is actually what I want out of this. And by, by getting there, you would be able to put your thought, your manifestation out to the universe more directly and more specifically, which means it will come back to you more directly and more specifically, which is absolutely awesome, which is exactly what we want. Right, so number four is how can you set healthy boundaries? Okay, so this is, this is emotional loss, but note it's a number five. So how you set emotional boundaries is you let go of all the emotional losses that you've ever had in your life and you stop thinking of every single thing that happens in your life as this is another potential emotional loss. Because if you do that, remember the question is, how can you set healthy boundaries? Because Aries, you set boundaries very, very well. You do that really well. The thing is, how do you set healthy boundaries? Because there's a major, major difference between setting boundaries and setting healthy boundaries. Don't set boundaries with the fear of more potential emotional loss. Set boundaries on what your gut tells you, how you feel. How do you feel when you're around this person? How do you feel when you're around this situation? How do you feel when you're in this workspace? And according to that, set your emotional, or sorry, <laughs> interesting, but set your boundaries according to those feelings, not according to previous emotional loss, because you will set your boundaries up so well that nothing can come through, so you won't be able to receive anything. So whatever it is that you're doing so greatly on this side, won't be able to come in because of this boundary that you put up here that is not a healthy one. Wow, that's quite a very, that's a very specific um, message there, Aries. Okay, so how can you in, um, incorporate more divine masculine energy into your daily life? Because um, Pisces does not need, does not like to, um, to take action. And this is exactly how, by getting into balance, by balancing out your feminine and your masculine. Yes, the feminine is the intuitive side where you get those intuitive hits and you get this great idea and you're starting to gather the wisdom and you're starting to make the plans, but have it in balance with your masculine side because that is the only way ever that things would actually be able to ground into your own 3D reality. And the last one is a new way to express yourself creatively. Wow, prosperity begins. So what I feel with this, Aries, is if you actually heed this warning and you do this as Spirit is trying to lead you by or guide you by, you will be able to do the things that you would like to do to express yourself creatively. Things cost money, right? And with money and time, both are really big factors in having a creative hobby or expressing yourself creatively the way you'd really like to. But if you if you incorporate your creativity with those intuitive hits that you're getting into this masculine energy and you have the balance of the two, prosperity would begin and you would have this absolutely wonderful life. So Aries, this is what Pisces season is offering you. It is absolutely up to you to decide, are you going to take this forward? You have until the 20th of March to incorporate this energy into your life. I'm not saying that by the 20th of March, you're gonna be this prosperous human being. You can be if you want to. But the point is, if you use the energy available in the universe right now, in accordance with the moon cycles and in with in within accordance of your own um, your own personal ast um, astrological energies and all of those things together, you can create this wonderful, beautiful life that Spirit really wants you to have. So Aries, um, I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope this helped you. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care.